What's going on guys, my name is Mojo Kicks and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the recently revealed Yeezy 700 V1 Sulfur Yellow and everything we know so far about this new Yeezy 700 V1 colorway. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Yeezy 700 V1 colorway was revealed today on February 3rd by Yeezy Mafia. The colorway name for this Yeezy 700 V1 will be called the Sulfur Yellow. And once again, we're seeing the two-tone colorways on the 700 V1. The upper on this one does feature that kind of sulfur yellow like we saw on the Yeezy Knit Runner boot, as well as the Yeezy Knit Runner. You obviously do have that two-tone theme where the upper is a different color than the sole unit. Now the upper does feature some different shades of yellow. You do have that light pale olive yellow on the upper, which does go to the toe box. And the fang on the toe box is in this kind of gray pale color. Just near the laces and on the back tab, you do have this dark yellow. Looks like a very dried out yellow from the yellow we see on the upper near the toe box and as well as on the midfoot portion of the shoe. Now in the pictures, it does look like the shoe will be featuring a black sole unit, but it's actually going to be in a dark brown colorway. I think that dark brown colorway actually suits the upper a little bit more. I think what would have been cool is that if the oval drips on the midsole were in the sulfur colorway as well. I always like when they change up the color of the drips and make them a different color than the midsole unit. Now the shoe actually does feature the Adidas Globe logo on the insole, which does mean that it is constructed with sustainable and recyclable materials as part of the Adidas and plastic waste program. Looks like going forward, all the Yeezys that do feature a mesh or prime knit upper, as well as a nylon upper, will feature the Adidas Globe logo. So all of them will be constructed out of sustainable and recyclable materials. Now obviously on the 700 View 1 model, it is constructed with a mix of suede, mesh, and leather. It is expected to be releasing this spring 2022 at the retail price of 240 USD. So it looks like we won't be getting a price increase for the 700 View 1. I have been hearing some other Yeezy models will most likely be getting a $10 price increase. For example, like the Yeezy 350 V2, like we've already seen with the blue tint. And I'm also hearing the Yeezy 5 could get a $10 increase as well. It's possible in the near future they could raise the retail price on the 700 V1, but I'm kind of hoping they keep it the same because it already is quite high. Now, the last Yeezy 700 V1 colorway we got was the Yeezy 700 V1 Faded Azura. That one featured the different aqua kind of blues in it, and you had the orange drips, which really made the midsole stand out. Like I said earlier, if they put the drips a different color on this new sulfur yellow colorway, I think that would have made it stand out even more. But either way, it's still a really dope colorway. I think this is actually a perfect colorway for the spring summer season. And I always look forward to Yeezy releases in the spring summer because they always release these nice bright colorways. Now what I'm hoping for in the future is that the Yeezy 700 MNVN model gets the same kind of two-tone colorway because in all the Yeezy 700 MNVNs that we've got so far, they all feature the black sole unit and it kind of gets a little bit repetitive. So I'm kind of hoping in the near future they switch it up and give us those two-tone colorways like we're seeing on the 700 V1 model. Now with the 700 V1, they've actually been quite tough to get so far. The Faded Azura wasn't too bad, but still the 700 V1 is a super hyped model. So we're gonna have to see how these do. I think they're gonna be a pretty tough cop, especially around the spring summer season. But make sure to let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on the new Easy 700 V1 Sulfur Yellow, and if you're going to be copying this spring 2022. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that like button down below, and if you're new here and you haven't already, consider hitting the subscribe button. Like always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!